My name is Bill Oakes. I'm a faculty member at Purdue University in the College of Engineering, and I'm also the director of the EPICS program. The fact that you're watching this, I hope, means that you're thinking about joining our, our EPICS program or adapting EPICS into your own school or, or program. EPICS was created here at Purdue, and originally it was created to solve the problem of how do we prepare engineering students to be leaders out in industry. And there were many ideas that were bad and, uh, around by the original group of faculty that included our current Dean of Engineering, Leah Jamison. And what they came up with was a uh, way to get students involved in design early and over a long period of time and to develop designs for nonprofit organizations, community organizations. And the power of that was that this engaged students in problems that nobody else had solved. Uh, many other approaches bring uh, CAN projects or projects even from industry, but these weren't the projects with real people that needed them under real time frames. And what we have found at the university, here at Purdue and other universities that have adopted EPICS, is that this method is a way to prepare leaders out in industry. Now at Purdue, our program has grown to where we have over 400 students per semester engaged in 80 to 90 projects at, at a given time. And the program has, has gained a lot of recognition. We bring students from across all the engineering disciplines, in fact, across the university. Last year, we had almost 70 different majors uh, participate in our class here at Purdue, and we've only got 13 kinds of engineers. So about 20 25% of our students come from outside of engineering. One of the things we saw in EPICS, in addition to students learning uh, what we call 21st century skills, the applying their technical skills, learning how they can use their disciplinary knowledge to make the world a better place, but we saw students who were involved in the first and second year in EPICS um, during their college, they were retained in engineering at higher rates. So EPICS increased their interest in engineering because, because they saw applications of that engineering work, the math, the science concepts, to things that they actually cared about. Uh, working in schools, helping younger children learn, solving issues for, for adults or children with, with disabilities, making the environment a better place. Those are things that students are interested in. And EPICS gave them a way where they could actually be engaged in the design work, to actually be leaders on real teams while they were at school, not learning things and waiting to, uh, to do the meaningful, fun stuff later. The other thing that we saw in EPICS is EPICS attracted students who are traditionally underrepresented in engineering, uh, female students, students of color at higher rates. Now, the benefits for retention and increasing the, the number of students who are interested in the diversity of engineering motivated us to look earlier than college. If we're going to make a difference in the pathways of students coming into engineering, we needed to look earlier. And we started with high school. So EPICS has been adapted into the high school, and we have curriculum and, and other materials, uh, teacher training uh, materials to engage that. Now, part of EPICS is getting students engaged in learning about design, but they get engaged in learning about design while they're doing the design. So part of EPICS is getting students to actually develop things that are used in the community. So another benefit of EPICS is that the community receives tangible things as a result of the EPICS work. Now, I will confess early on, I was skeptical whether high school students could actually do those real authentic designs. And we had alums that started the first EPICS high school. And we said, hey, that's great if you can get it started. And I officially apologized to them when they have applied for their first patent. So we've seen that high school students can develop real projects to meet community needs. Now, similar to the high school, we had middle school teachers that said, hey, we can do this too. And they participated in our training. We've had middle school teachers do that. Now, some of you may be looking at this and saying, hey, can we do this in elementary? We're still working our way down there, but we really believe that we've got some materials and definitely the projects that we had could be used as cases in elementary schools uh, for that. If you're thinking about EPICS, there are a number of reasons to, to think about EPICS may be right for you. Are you looking for an affordable solution that could be adapted into your own school environment? We don't have a one-size-fits-all curriculum. Um, the idea is that we engage students in authentic design work. 
And that means engaging them at the age that they are, not waiting again for some day where they'll get to do fun stuff, but engaging them in design. And design is, is critical for a couple of reasons. One, it, it's one of the key things in the engineering technology space. In engineering computing, the ability to do design is critical and it's one of the most common f job functions that, that engineers do. The other thing is that it's a lot of fun for the students to actually develop things, to identify a problem and develop something, especially something that somebody in their community, somebody they care about is going to use. Another benefit from educator to educator is design is a very highly functioning, um, high functioning skill. It requires students to bring um, materials and knowledge from many different sources to synthesize, analysis. Key thing of a designer is asking the right questions. Designers have to be able to communicate. So the nice thing with EPICS is it is early engineering, but it's also integrating science and math skills using art and language skills. And it's a way for them to learn about the community and learn about social studies, philosophy, those, those kinds of things also. EPICS could be for you if, if you want to engage your students on a ride doing authentic projects, real projects for real people. Now that does mean that you're going to get into something that we can't fully predict because you're going to get engaged in students as a fellow learner to try to make your community better. If you're looking for a way to transform your school, look at, at different ways of teaching, EPICS can be for you. If you're looking for a canned curriculum, where you'll know exactly on day 47 of the school year what you're going to be doing, EPICS is not the right thing. What I can tell you it is we at, in the EPICS program are excited to have teachers that are interested in making a difference. We've got materials and resources. We also have a whole army nationally of engineers um, and professionals that are interested in working with schools and providing their own disciplinary skills for that. So if you're interested, I hope you look at some of the other videos, some of the other information on our website, or give us a call.